Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're baking. We're gonna make a blueberry cobbler because berries are in season and it's easy AF. Okay, so we're making a cobbler. A cobbler can be anything between a batter that goes on top of fruit or drop biscuits. This one's kind of in between, inspired by Alice Waters' recipe. So of course we need to mix up the fruit with a little bit of flour and sugar, just like you would do with any pie dough for a little bit of thickening. I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon juice because we're also gonna put lemon in the top for the cobbler so we're connecting flavors. Now, blueberries right now are so in season and delicious. Look at these. They're huge and juicy. And the best blueberries come from my home state, Jersey. Garden State, we have so many gorgeous blueberries. So just mix the flour and the sugar till it's completely incorporated. Okay, so we are just gonna pour the berries into these ramekins. You can do, of course, a full casserole dish. But I wanted to do individuals. And now I know you're all wondering about the recipe and it's gonna be in the caption. Don't worry. As much as I don't like to follow a recipe for baking, we must. Okay, let's speed this along. Berries everywhere. Okay, just make sure it's even. You want everybody to have the same amount. Okay, and then for the topping, it's a combination of so many different methods that you've probably done before if you're a baker. We're gonna cut in the butter, meaning we're putting the butter into the flour and we're gonna cut it with a fork or a pastry blender so that the butter is into little teeny tiny pieces. I'll probably end up using my hands, but I know that's kind of a no-no because the butter could get soft. You want the butter to stay cold. I'm gonna go real fast. Now in this bowl is flour, baking powder, and salt. Very simple, very straightforward. I'm gonna put a pinch of cinnamon because I love cinnamon so much. You can put whatever you like in here or nothing at all. And like I said, I'm gonna do the zest of this lemon because I want that extra pop. I think lemon and blueberry go so well together. Okay, you don't have to do the whole lemon, just a few zests in here. You know, this is a small batch. The lemon zest is so much more powerful than the juice, as we know. Our little pinch of cinnamon. And then, here we go with our heavy cream. Now the cream is the thing that's gonna bind this together, hold it together, and then we're gonna turn it into little patties on top of the blueberries. Your oven should be preheated to 375, and that's gonna take about 35 to 40 minutes to cook. And of course, get that ice cream out of the freezer and get it soft and ready so that we can have a big dollop of vanilla ice cream on top. Okay, so once that comes together, we want that to look a little shaggy. That's what the pastry chefs say. We don't want it to be fully combined because we are then going to combine it with our hands. You don't want to work that butter too much. Make a little patty for each. You can do two patties if you want it to look a little more rustic. I'm just gonna do one on each because I want to see all of those blueberries and the blueberry juice coming out over the top. Yum. Somewhere between a crisp and a cobbler. I love a crisp because you can put oats and you can put nuts in the topping. And a cobbler also kind of gives your fruit a bigger blanket. Look at that. Give it a little space. Make sure. They're all coated. And then I am definitely putting these on a sheet pan because if anybody has ever made cobbler or crisp, you know that berry juice likes to bubble over. In the oven, 375, 35 to 40 minutes. I'll see you then. 
These are just out of the oven, looking golden brown and bubbly, but they're lava hot. So I've got some ice cream ready to go, and I'm gonna wait for them to cool off before we top them and eat them. Okay, so these are ready to be topped with ice cream. <laughs> and eaten. This is our delicious summer blueberry cobbler. And it's easy AF. <gasps> Splat. 